Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Hixie Dubs, and uh, today we got another fix, and this time it's going to be with VirtualBox. Now, I've seen multiple videos before, and um, if you wanted to increase your virtual disk, there's not a lot of videos that are updated. In fact, as far as I can see, there's not one for 2019. So here I'm going to show you how to inc increase your virtual disk in 2019 on VirtualBox on Windows XP. And it's very, very simple. First thing you want to do is you want to open up your Oracle VirtualBox machine manager. And you want to right click settings on the box you want to change or on the machine. Uh, sorry. Settings. Storage. And first thing you want to do is right click the storage device and remove attachment. And this is all. Uh, it's not going to delete the, uh, the uh, drive. In fact, if anything, it just detaches it, so it comes off. Now, I'm not going to do it because I've already done it with this one, but I will show you how to do it in depth, and it's very simple. So then you click Cancel, and you just minimize that, or you can close it. Next thing you want to do is you want to go to your Start or Search button, and you want to type in Command, right-click, Run as Administrator for Command Prompt. Now first thing you want to do is you want to find the location of your virtual box now for me i installed it on a separate drive and it would be on the e drive so it's a separate drive altogether some of you may put it on the c drive and if so then you can find it in the c drive there but i'm going to show you how to search for the drive itself so it's very simple you just go here e semicolon and there we go we're in the new drive <clears throat> so then you want to uh, copy over the uh, location of the virtual box so for me it's going to be right here so copy and then we paste there and there we are we're inside the folder there because CD changes uh, the directory inside of the drive so then what you want to do next is go back to your folder here and whatever your uh, drive is called, uh, you know, the um, virtual drive, mine is called Windows XP. Uh, so you want to go into the folder there and here you're going to find something called a virtual disk image and that is your storage. So uh, what you want to do is you want to get this up here, you want to copy just minimize that so when you're here you want to uh, type in uh, vbox manage space modify hd space quotation marks and you want to copy and paste the location of your uh, drive so if i just get the folder up now so it's, mine's going to be in the E drive. I've got it in the folder called VirtualBox. It's in Windows XP folder, in another Windows XP folder. And you want to have this selected here. And the way you do that is you go back up here, forward uh, backslash, then you type in Windows XP as it is, then dot VDI. It's very important. You close uh, quotation marks there. And then what you want to do, space, and then dash dash, uh, the two two minus uh, minus uh, keys, resize, and then you want to put a space, and you want to put however, how much you want in. Now be warned, whatever you put in, you cannot resize down. So if you want to resize it to say 50 gigabytes, you just put up to 5999. Um, if you want to put it up to 25 gigabytes, you just put it up to uh, 25.999. So whatever you want, you just do that. And once you type in that, it will do it. Once you press enter, I'm not going to do it because I've already done it. Once you press enter, it will then do like a check Lamax. So it would be like 10, 15%, 20%, up to 100%. And then it would be done now once that is done you want to open back up oracle uh, virtual box manager you want to right click settings go straight into storage 
you're going to want to click this button here, add hard disk, choose existing disk, and then find your disk and then add it. And it's as simple as that. You click OK, and then you OK it, and then you start it back up, and then you have uh, the storage done. And it's as simple as that, guys. It really is. It doesn't take that long. And this is the way to do it on Windows 10 um, when you have VirtualBox Manager within Windows XP. Okay, just to clarify that. I don't know how to do it on any other kind of OS. This is just how I know how to do it on here. And this is done in 2019 as well. So it is an updated version. One that I couldn't find on YouTube, but it's right here and right now. And this is the best way. A lot of people say that you need to go into a folder and, uh, I, I don't know, uh, hold shift and right click. Uh, but you don't get the command prompt. You get an open PowerShell. Well, I do anyway. And that's not what you want. You wanted the command prompt. But there is other ways around it. So, anyway, I hope this video has been useful for you guys. If it has, please leave a like. Uh, comment on it if you like. And subscribe for more fixes and gameplays coming in, in the future as well. And that'll be all for now. I hope you've enjoyed it, and uh, thank you for taking your time out to uh, watch this video. Take care. Bye-bye.